Good evening, and thank you for joining us for this special edition of WSU News. My name is Matthew Mountain. My name is Radiance Flowers, and we're reporting from the Westfield State University's campus. After 15 years of being a staple on the Westfield State campus, MassPerg, a statewide college-oriented student advocacy group, may soon have to say goodbye to this community. Last week, Westfield State students voted in a campus-wide referendum to no longer have a MassPerg chapter on campus. WSU News' Jacqueline Kays has more on the story. Fall 2018 will be the first semester in 15 years without a university-sponsored MassPerg chapter on the Westfield State campus. MassPerg, which stands for Massachusetts Public Interest Research Group, is a student-led advocacy group that promotes various environmental, social, and political causes on college campuses across the state. The biggest two active uh, campaigns that we have right now are our Save the Bees campaign and our Toxic Free Westfield campaign. Earlier this semester in March, several members of the WSU Student Government Association, or SGA, proposed that the university stop funding for MassPerg's activities on campus. I think there's a lot of students who don't know what you guys are, who are paying for you, and that's not okay. Many SGA senators accuse the MassPerg chapter for not doing enough with the money they receive from student fees. I voted no tonight because I don't think that the money that we pay for MassPerg goes back to the campus at all. At a meeting in March, a majority of the SGA senators voted to add the question, do you want MassPerg on campus, to the SGA election ballot to be held in April. MassPerg members quickly began a support campaign after the meeting, which lasted until the final day of elections on April 16th. Despite efforts to rally support for MassPerg, the student body voted to cut ties with the organization, leaving chapter members like Haley Bergs disappointed. Berg still hopes to continue her Save the Bees campaign as part of her own personal advocacy project, but now she is not sure where funding for the campaign will come from. If you want to learn more about MassPerg, or if you want to become involved in the various projects MassPerg chapters are pursuing on campuses across Massachusetts, visit their website at www.massperg.com. It's looking like the Westfield State University club hockey team may not have a fall 2018 season. After a decade-long career, the head coach of the club team will be stepping down at the end of this semester. The players of the club team now need to find a replacement or they will be forced to disband before the fall. We go now to Nick Oski at Amelia Ice Arena in Westfield for the story. At the end of this club season, as players look forward to the last few days of the spring semester, there's something more to worry about this year than just final exams. Head coach Mark Lachance has decided to step down in order to pursue a teaching career at a middle school in Worcester, Massachusetts. With no coach and no media replacements, this change may force the team to disband. Among the student athletes affected by the departure is club team member Chris Fay. I feel like it's going to have a little bit of a negative effect on the start of the year, but once we get our chemistry built back up and our positive attitudes back, we'll be right on track. Fay is not the only student who is trying to stay positive. Assistant captain Tommy Burgess says that many other players are also looking forward to a fresh start as newcomers join the team in fall 2018. A lot of young guys, a lot of new guys coming up. So I think, I mean, it'll give us some new life. And um, we kind of need that after next last year. So I'm looking forward to the next season, new group of guys, new faces around, kind of get the energy back up. The players of the WSU club hockey team still aren't entirely sure what's in store for them. However, it is clear that no matter who is coaching, the student athletes are just hoping the fall 2018 season will continue as planned. I'm Nick Oski for WSU News, Massachusetts. To club sports advisor Todd Dipmore, the position for a new coach has already been posted on the WSU website. Women around the world have taken to social media to speak up against sexual harassment. Using the hashtag MeToo, people have been telling personal stories and coming forward as victims. 
Here at Westfield State University, the movement has caught on among female students as well as faculty and staff. Jack Hislop has more. Well, in high school, I was sexually assaulted by a man who I thought I was friends with at the time. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one in every five women in the U.S. will experience sexual assault in their lifetime. Women who are victims have often found it hard to come forward. To try and change this, a movement began on social media aimed at giving women a voice. Using the hashtag MeToo, people all over the world have shared personal stories of sexual assault and harassment, some speaking out about it for the very first time. I had childhood friends, relatives, co-workers, all, all saying that, and it really gives light to the magnitude of the, the whole issue. The movement started last October and has since brought light to many cases of sexual harassment globally. Here on the WSU campus, student activities following in the spirit of the Me Too movement are working to raise awareness. So, hi, we're Westfield State University's Revolution. Um, we... Angela Degada is a member of the WSU Revolution Club. The organization hosts activities and games aimed at teaching students about sexual consent. So, everyone is aware of the club and aware of what the objective is, which is to spread awareness about sexual assault and try to talk about consent and what is and what isn't. And kind of WSU Revolution, along with other organizations such as TRIO and the Vagina Monologues, are all examples of how the Westfield State community is working to break down the social barriers that prevent conversations on sexual harassment. This is Jack Hislop reporting for WSU News. Victims of sexual assault and harassment have historically found it hard to come forward, but today, in the midst of the Me Too movement, Many women have realized that they are not alone and their voice can be heard. Students and faculty from all corners of Westfield State's campus gathered in the Ely building earlier this month to check themselves on Westfield's third annual Fresh Check Day. WSU's Chayton Yost was on the scene. Visitors filled into the campus's Ely building on Thursday, March 29th to take part in the university's annual Mental Health Awareness Day called Fresh Check Day. Hundreds of attendees traveled around the venue and visited each unique booth. They collected both knowledge and souvenirs of their experience, learning about mental welfare. Um, I know Fresh Check Day is about suicide prevention and making sure that you learn to love yourself and help others love themselves on the way. Loving themselves is an issue for college students, and many think Fresh Check Day is part of the solution. Julian Nedry, an outreach counselor at Westfield State and the lead organizer for Fresh Check Day, agrees. That's really what makes it um, super unique is the fact that it, that it has like a really important suicide prevention, positive mental health, destigmatizing message, mm -hmm. along with the fact that um, it's just a lot of fun. Anyone who missed the fun of the main fair but still wanted to promote a healthy mindset in their communities could attend the Fresh Check Day After Dark event from 8 to 10 p.m. that night. Those who attended say Fresh Check Day is a great way to break the stigma surrounding mental health. And that's an even outstanding event. Thank you for watching this broadcast of the WSU News. My name is Matthew Mountain. And I'm Radiance Flowers. Thank you and good night.